everybody, and this is an announcement. This announcement is as follows. Actually, I realized that I was not prepared. Shocker. Me. Not prepared for something. Project Broadside. It's a thing. It's happening. And it's mainly happening um, with people in the Anarchy crew on my members thing, like for the courses and classes and shit. But I really want to open this up to everybody. Like, everyone should take part in this. And um, what we're going to be doing is doing broadsides and then putting them out places. So, what is a broadside? Well, it's funny you should ask. Um, here are some of my broadsides. This is um, Lovecraft Built This House. Um, this one is called For Bernie. And this one is called An Empty Case of Whippets for Kim Deal. Um, and I have some other ones too. But let's, let's get into this real quick. I have notes and stuff. But broadsides are basically uh, single sheets of paper with one side printed on that would be used as either public announcements, advertisements, um, any kind of entertainment, any kind of letting people know what's going on, like right now. Um, they were used mainly because like once uh, printing presses became a thing that people could get a hold of, doing these things would be like quick and disposable. And as the years went on, all of all these things going on together, um, what ended up happening was poetry was really the thing that has kept broadsides alive. Because poems are gen generally small, short, and you could fit them on one sheet of paper. And then you could put those wherever the hell you want. You can... Um, duct tape them to lamp posts. You could staple them to telephone poles. You could put them on car windshields. You could like put a quarter in a newspaper box, open it up, and then just put all your broadsides in there or put them in each newspaper just for funsies. Um, or you could just give them away for free or you could make really beautiful ornate ones like with like block printing and screen printing or even handwritten and um, sell those like when you go table places like at zine fests or poetry expos or whatever. Um, you could sell them on Etsy. I sell mine on Etsy. Um, you can do all sorts of stuff with them. But it is the most inexpensive way to get your work out there pre-internet. So it's now the most inexpensive way to get tangible copies of your work out there. Um, honestly, probably Instagram is the new broadside for all the Insta poets. Like the people who are doing Insta poetry probably would have been doing broadsides if this was like 20 years ago, 30 years ago. Um, so that's really cool. And there are all different kinds here. So, like, I'm showing you things now, allegedly. But if you look at these, like, um, you have things like Coffin that came out in, I think, 64. And this was really cool because it was like a box. It was like a coffin. And inside this coffin were tons of um, broadsides from different poets. Um, and it's so funny because this cost like $1.50 in 1964. This thing now goes for like $5,000. So um, good luck getting your hands on that. Um, but like this goes back to like um, Carice Crosby, the Etatoris, um, had a um, magazine called Portfolio, which was a portfolio of broadsides from a bunch of different poets that were all on different types of paper with different typesets with different art work on the pages um different sizes it's just all sorts of stuff and there's lots of like magazines that are still in publication now that put out like these weird broadside collections um sometimes they do the broadsides kind of like how um 
I do the blood rag, where you put like a bunch of different people's stuff on one sheet. So it's just a really cool, interesting way to get your work out there. And it's one of these things that is so like historical that it's like just amazing. And um, I wanted to read a couple more things to you guys here about this. Um, many of the more collectible poetry broadsides will have been made by hand, often with a small silk screen press or mimeograph. As James Sullivan writes in his book, On the Walls and in the Streets, American Poetry Broadsides from the 1960s, which, by the way, I did not know existed, and I've already bought it, and it is on its way here. Um, broadside printing took poetry out from between closed covers resting on shelves, out of the armchair under the reading lamp, out from those quiet moments of private contemplation that have become the um, canonical setting for poetry, and into public places, handed out at meetings, rallies, and street corners, posted on walls and bulletin boards, even framed to be hung in a living room or gallery or carried around all day folded in a wallet. A poem became a material sign to be touched and seen, engaging the senses rather than, as is conventional, passing transparently through them on the literary intellect. Now that was almost word salad there, but I like the fuck what he had to say here. So this is super fucking cool. It's a fun thing to do and it's just interesting. And like with all the zine making stuff and all this other shit that we've been doing on here, um, broadsides are great. Like, so if you have something, a poem or whatever, I highly, highly recommend you, um, Put it out, do it however you want to, um, depending on how you want it to be. Actually, I'll save the rest of this for the class, because um, now I'm just getting into like like minutia. So I'll save that for the the members on that. But um, yeah, if you want to take part in this, please do use the hashtag Project Broadside um, in your videos about it on Instagram, Twitter, wherever you are, um, social media in and wherever you end up with it, like, let's see what it looks like, but also show us where you're putting it. Like, let's share some ideas of how to get these things out there. Like that would be just amazing. So I'm really excited. I hope you're excited too. If you have any questions about this, leave them down below. If you want to talk about this at all, you know where to go. And um, I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Creo and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. And thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the career of the Anarchy Creo, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.